That's what we've done. We pressed the record button. Yo, what up? How's it going, River? How are you? Uh, well, I'm still sick from Gen Con, but besides that, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, no. Did you, did you catch the cringe? I, I got, yeah. Uh, one of my travel buddies apparently got COVID right before we met up. So, shucks, um, shucks, shucks. Up. <clears throat> yeah, I made it out of Orlando and, and, uh, uh, at the Gen Con, like the only thing that I had was like my throat was like sore, but it's just from screaming all day. But anywho, yeah. we're not here to talk about your health conditions. You can do that with your doctor. <laughs> I want to talk about your super sweet Kamui Woods deck. Um, good. Earth Kamui. Hit me with the elevator pitch. What's going on with the deck? Um, so I was making this because I want to play Kamui. I have a strong feeling I'm going to play a lot of Kamui Woods in set three um, already. Um, probably won't play them on Earth, but I can't bring myself to bring water or air Kamui to my locals because... Um, I I want to maintain my friendships. Right, um, that makes sense. So so I made, I was you know what, let's see what you can do on Earth so I can kind of play with the characters some because I always love playing with them but I don't have to bring like a high power deck. Um, so I put together uh, Kamui does you know what I can think I can kind of uh, string along multiple attacks with that need to be blocked, um, or not necessarily need to be blocked but string along like long strings of attacks and like trying to figure out like how he can play defense on earth without the speed hate of his other two symbols um so i went i put a lot of uh, dr in there so like he can like make some attacks like minus five minus six damage and like who wants to keep playing attacks after that right. um but that's the idea um and then just pump damage on moves that it uh on these cool earth moves that Hiroshima two keeps winning with <laughs> love to see it Love to see it. So, give me the uh, give me the elevator pitch. What, what's the what's the goal here? Why are we uh, why are we playing? What we're playing? Um, yeah. So the the frenzy, the chop is just you know. I mean, Kami Woods puts damage on stuff, so those are just attacks that suck the block. Um, it's just the um, the haymaker and the jab are to try to get cards in hand for probably for like defense minded at least for most of the game. You throw you want to poke with your chops and your frenzies to get the damage to extend, but won't block it if it's your first attack. Um, yeah, and then you put in a long string, and when they're done blocking, you throw in, like, a Texas Smash at the end that's got, like, bonus plus three or four damage from Kamui. Um, yeah, and I just try to play a long string, naval laser to uh, unflip some stuff to break her two. Um, yeah, so that, that's that's kind of the attack line of it. It's pretty straightforward. It's what Kirishima 2 is already doing, just worse because it's the Kamui Woods and not Kirishima 2. Um, then, then the foundation lineup um, is, like, you know, I have a crap ton of high blocks that probably needs to be fixed. Um, just different ways to survive without being able, without the ability to block like three attacks consistently. Um, well, maybe three, but like not more than that. So like you got the hardens, you got the um, the breaker. Just like if I give, uh, you know, block with the harden and the attacks I already got minus one from Kamui, that's, then it's going to be minus uh, four because I get the ready Kamui and do it again. Yeah. And that other, or if I like breaker you know use resistance and breaker two something it's like minus four or five on the next attack and you have to play through a breaker two um just different ways to to slow them down without to keep them from playing a ton of attacks or keeping it from being an effective turn for them if they want to keep right. going right, right, right. um yeah and then a couple ways to try to get card advantage um with the homage and with the jet like the jet and, the, and back to the uh haymaker um yeah i'm thinking the main board and learning the standards but um as well for that same purpose um but i'm not sure how good it is in a 20 in a character that starts with 20 life yeah it makes um, sense yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like oh i took six but you don't want to play any more attacks that's not great yeah um so so i ended up moving it out so that's the idea of the deck okay and so what's the what's the goal then here what do you what do you want help with how, how, um, how do i get the doctor you today yeah uh Mostly, I'm bad at balancing block zones. Uh, with like, whenever I, I and I just butcher my decks when I balance my own block zones. Um, so Got that's kind of what I'm here for. Um, if there's any ideas you have on how to help me survive with him a little better than what I have on the board, mm -hmm. um, make the deck a little more survivable would probably be a good idea. Sure, love that. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's hit the reset, and I've got a I got some some stuff to to hit you with. Uh, first and foremost, first and foremost, uh, I want to talk about the things that you already have in your deck. Um, manly, passionate guy should be a four of your your deck says I want to do block, and so this card yep. should should like I want to block and then build because I need to have these bigger stages in order to sling out these uh these these very five diff moves right five diff five diff five diff yep. um five diff mm -hmm. um 
Uh, how many cards is our deck? Uh, 58? What's this number look like? Stan? Uh, it, can, it can go higher. It can go lower. You okay. know, I mean, 63 is probably... I, I wouldn't mind going a little above that, but 63 is probably the most. Love that. Love, love, love that answer. Love that answer. Um, <clears throat> uh, I love homage, but I was also playing... Uh, so, like... Obviously, I played an Earth deck at the the, the last event that we just had, um, but I played a 31 health character as opposed to a 20 health character. You get to leverage your yep. health a, a little bit better, but you can't just, like, face tank a move, draw two cards, and feel fine about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so there is there is this. Um, it can't be fixed is insane. Pull no punches is very good. How often do you see yourself going to deadlock in game one? Um, Not that often. It's mostly there. So it could, it could come out because it's the high block, but it's mostly there to... to um, for the first enhance, the first enhance is very good on a deck that wants this string. Um, like how he was playing All Might in set one. Totally, um, totally, totally. So it's it's there for the first enhance, and obviously, I probably would probably put a third in the sideboard for deadlock stuff. But I think you take them out. Okay. I think I think you totally take them out. Um, and just realize that like you're going to check a little. You 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 need to build your stage in order to, to string as opposed mm -hmm. to destroying your foundation. The only uh uh momentum you use is. EX2 or unflip two. And so like right. like you're you're losing half the card. It just says it, it, this card's gonna say destroy and discard a card from your card pool. That's not good enough for a three diff. It just isn't. Yeah. Right? I, I gotta get yeah, I gotta get rid of high blocks anyway, so I'm right. definitely fine with it. Yeah, I think you get rid of these and you like you put in another manly, you could put in like another uh forcing surrender because we're playing Texas Smash and so like um or or Texas Smash and Frenzy. And so getting face shielded sucks. That just does not feel good. Yep. Like the best part about face shield is it lets us ready our character, but then like I, I missed the damage, and that card uh, is uh, exceptionally good versus your character. Yep. Um, or like you could just take out those double pull no punches for double apathetic and probably feel way better. Truthfully. Y yeah, I mean that's just another high block for a high block, yeah, which is absolutely correct. Shit. But like this card is just more relevant. This card is less relevant in the early yep. games, which is probably what's going to happen is, is you're going to just string out big. Uh, uh, slightly earlier because you're because of how much uh, spam foundations you have, like your spam mm -hmm. is so good. We've got we've got tight lip, we've got resistance, we've got it can't be fixed, we've got forces render high value target. I've, I've used to play in two checks, so I had so much spam. Yeah, yeah, fucking nuts. Uh, have you much sugar rush power up as just a card? In the, um, the deck, it just randomly kills people. I think I, I feel like there should be one or two in every deck on symbol, um, just because you just get the. You just get to like, oh, this speed you could block if you check a five. Well, now you just die and it's four damage more. Huh. Um, I dig that. Like, I, I just think it's, um, it, even if there's just one, like, I'm trying to get rid of high blocks. So I was considering going down to one, but like, when you find it late game and like you're you're coming towards the end of your string, you'd be like, well, this, you know, this, you know, four speed attack or whatever that mm -hmm. you can potentially block is now six speed and it just kind of gets gets it gets attacks over the edge while also making them lethal um i love the card yeah it's but, one of the things that the earth symbol doesn't have is it's just speed pump right like, there's right, no speed right, pump here right. except for pulling the punches in deadlock and by that time it's too mm -hmm. late right and it's like checking checking a one instead of like checking another attack at the end of my string to make lethal happen right absolutely um yeah all right uh, i put that card in your deck just to look at your uh, symbols to see if it was playable. Try to yeah, not play. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I looked at it too and I was like, <laughs> attack wise, overhead reversal. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was literally the last card I caught before I put it in card, the link. So card builds in zeros. It's a throw. It uh, it um gets big with Kamui Woods. I don't think it needs to be yeah. here because you are opting to play Texas Smash. Um, same thing with Creeping Vine Eruption. I think this card is neat. I don't think it's needed. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe later on in the set. This card could mm -hmm. see a place in some stuff. So otherwise, like, I really like Relentless Barrage in your sideboard, and I don't necessarily love Chop or excuse me, Frenzy in your deck just because we're playing Smash. But I guess Smash is at a two of, so I guess it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Um, right. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why it's at a two of. Like, I don't, I didn't want to build hard into like the the has to be punches. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's it's only there. I don't want. I don't think I want to see Texas Smash too much because it's just going to be full blocked most of, more, a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So I want to do it. Play one at the end when they're done blocking is the idea there. Right. If I can get a long string going. Uh, this is crazy. I'm also a big fan of only triple back alley haymaker. I know that's sacrilegious, but I, I I think I think seeing the like two of these on on turn two sucks. You're a seven hander, so that's like a little less of a big deal. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
because like you probably have the other resources to to do whatever but like i you just never want to see two of these in your hand at the, uh, on the same turn right you just open with it and then you play the rest of your cool cards as opposed mm -hmm. to like like back to back haymaker does uh, i've i've never found that like, like two haymakers in the same turn is like better value than the one haymaker unless you're just killing them that turn right yeah um i i can be down with that i i have it in there because i mean it's, it's obviously it's a really good card you check a mm -hmm. five and you actually end up going up a foundation on your first attack certainly do um but yeah i can go down to three like i said i need to get rid of high blocks correct so. and that's that's where i'm at right like like we take this down to the three of because we've got three of these and the four jabs and i think jab right. is just a better card than than haymaker is mm -hmm. pound for pound because it does it does what jab that what maker does it builds right. and gets to be ready right it builds early and draws draws later it lets you reuse your your apathetics your resistance your manlies as opposed mm -hmm. to build in exclusively right. tight-lipped or it can't be fixed like those are the only two targets you have right. and this like as somebody who played it yesterday back alley haymakers build was dead a lot of the time yesterday like the only reason yeah. that it, it worked out for me is because i got to flip the thing that i i i built later on to have a second foundation i never mm -hmm. i very very rarely wanted to i didn't use the enhanced on type lift like one time yesterday it was crazy yeah but like jab was one of the mvps uh you could take naval laser beam down to a down to a two of if you wanted to play like a second texas or third texas smash to like try and like have just inherent more damage right this is like an eight damage move at minimum in your character yeah. and, and um, then it gets the it, yeah i was as i was talking about texas smash earlier i think i was thinking about going up more because it's a high enough damage attack that it forces them to block early and calmly woods likes being blocked early Correct. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think I think I like that change, and not just put like one or two naval lasers in the side. One hundred percent. That's how I feel. Uh, I think all the like, like these action action attacks of like, hey, this is meant to be. Its job is to be a breaker two block, and sometimes it does nine damage. Is uh, <laughs> yeah. is is where it's at. And then we could yeah. take this down to a three of, and then refresh. We're at nineteen here, which means we could even take like smash up to a a four. Although uh, I think I you should have chop at a four. Yeah, I'm, I like that better. I think chop. I mean, I, I in order to break these life walls, I had to double chop mm -hmm. people all day, right? Um, it was fine as a poke because nobody wanted to, to to lose their card in case more was happening, right? You go chop as your first move, then you check your you check poorly, you destroy your face down, you build it back in, and they're so nervous to have their two maybe three cards in hand, and mm -hmm. they don't know if you're going to smash them or chop them again, and so they're just not allowed to block the chop, right? Because they gotta yep. be afraid of what's happening next. It's a six damage move, possibly eight with the harden if we get to keep that card in our deck. Um, this card is just like, it's just like so good as the poke. It's so good. This card is the only card that I left off. Were you here earlier for my, uh, for my, um, uh, watch list? Um, yes, yes, I was. This is the only card I left off that I probably could have put on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just yeah, didn't have a second yeah, thing to put on uh, to like, to like be next to it. And I, I think cards like this are really good at fighting walls. And I think that with things like recovery girl coming in next next format and the idea of losing asui i think wall decks are going to be all over the place next format i think next format is going yeah. to slow the hell down that'd be awesome i i really want i the format's way too fast for my taste right i now. i agree oh yeah um okay so now foundations uh as the earth master uh, we're not playing with someone with style. I think this card is a bit cracked, for, especially versus the stun decks. And that's uh, like like someone style versus Haymaker yeah. feels amazing. Um, uh, yeah. And also we're playing a bunch of five diffs. Oh, go ahead. I, it's a I cut. I mean, I'll let you guess why I caught it because it's, it's a high block. It's another big block yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, same thing with um, new training method. Mm -hmm. It's exact exactly. Those are both in the deck. I think this um, card is not fair with ready get set go. I agree. Um, I agree. I got I dropped uh, my last game about whether I make top cuts or not on Saturday was someone played uh, ready two ready set goes against me, um, and I cried, and then I dropped. <laughs> I think that this card is better than Super Rejuvenation at doing the things that you want to do. You do, yeah, very um, much so. I think I'd rather okay. just be a seven hand size character that blocks things over and over and over again rather than like block twice then super rejuvenation the last one right like I, let me just I, like 
this card adds more blocks to my hand to make my character more alive. Okay. Um, I get to go and find selective foundations. Man, I really wish I had a face shield. You know how many, uh, like yesterday, I would block a thing, check my face shield, new trading method to snag my face shield up to my hand and be like, all right, the last one's not going to touch me. That's way better than whatever the fuck uh, Super Juvenation's doing. <laughs> all right, I just, I guess I don't have faith in this shield. deck being able to block very well, um, which is weird for a common wood deck, but well, I, I definitely... Conway always has yeah. all your all of the opponent's moves have minus one damage at least right um yeah i'll try with the training method first i think because i know I, I know what super regen does so yeah. you know but i, I haven't played a lot with the training method because i don't play those symbols it also like makes your high blocks a little more potent um at the same mm -hmm. time i don't like harden as a card but I get where you're at of like wanting this big major dr i think resistance if you see double resistance plus Kamui, your opponent mm -hmm. doesn't attack you anymore yeah they just stop attacking you right, right. And so like yeah. i don't think you need harden to get that that bonus this is this is double resistance combo is minus six damage that's yeah. that that is negate one of these attacks mm -hmm. right it, it, even it, and 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 it's even like negate every attack that you play that's not a naval laser beam or a texas smash like fully even with combo's pump that becomes yeah. six that becomes eight, so I'll take two. Sure, I'll take two. You, you have to hit me with ten more of those. Chop becomes six, mm -hmm. it's gone. Frenzy becomes six, it's gone. Jab becomes six, it's gone. Frenzy, naval laser beam becomes seven. Uh, nine with the pump. Sure, I have to, I have to block one naval laser beam. Yeah, <laughs> double resistance, yeah. common woods, it means that they just stop attacking you. They they lose yeah. a hand size. Yeah, I, I hear you out on that. We can maybe drop those in the pull and the punches and see what we're looking at. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of these. We're going to take Forcing Surrender and put it up to a 4 of... We're going to take Manly Passion Guy and put it up to a 4 of... You do not want cards in your card pool. I'm going to block. I'm going to kick this card out of the card pool. Uh, create Capture Net says that you no longer get stunned, right? Or or they lose the foundation in order to do so. When you get mm -hmm. face shielded, you can still combo with your Texas Smashes because you just flip them. When your Frenzies get blocked, you clear them out of your card pool. Um, yeah. I decimated a fourth kind with, with this card, right? And fourth kind is going to absolutely beat the brakes off you because he's not playing four attacks every turn. He's playing two, and they really matter, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, Kami Woods is, like, bad against that. But fourth kind goes attack, foundation, foundation, attack. You just kick their two foundations out. You you say that you skipped your turn, right? I, par I full yeah. blocked one, I partial blocked the other, and you skip your build turn? That's Man, pretty gross. That's disgusting. That's so good. I, I literally... Um, the one game that I didn't get to stream yesterday because the guy didn't want to be on stream and that's totally fine was like that's mm -hmm. the way that I killed him in game two is he just like he did that play and I had double forcing and I went get that out of there they don't exist that sucks yeah. <laughs> for, not for you that's yeah. great for you um, where are we at 57 still our low blocks are better our mid blocks are a little iffy so if we wanted to we've got 20 attacks and I think we should probably push this number up to closer to 60 as a 7 hand size character um mm -hmm. We could just slam in either four battle resolve. It's going to make your back alley haymaker slightly more live, or we put in manly friendships. And manly friendship is just more copies of Kamui Woods. So Kamui Woods yeah. says the first move is I don't even have to block necessarily. Like Kamui Woods, yeah. double manly, it, it double resistance. The first move doesn't work. The second move doesn't work. Okay, I, I discarded two cards in your head, and I didn't have to block anything. I just get to sculpt. And when I do decide to block, I'm manly passionate. Build something down. What do you think about Revel? Um, I, Re I was going back and forth between Revel and Homage, um, which I could keep in the deck. Um, so it's just on the subject of mid blocks, I'd rather talk about it all at the same time. Sure. Um, getting, you know, I think I like manly friendship. Um, Revel would be the other card in that slot, or maybe just replacing Homage, um, or maybe two of each, or something like that. Well, we have 21 spam cards, right? And mm -hmm. we're looking to add in four more cards. We easily, instead of the Manly Friendship, which is plus one or minus one, this just says yeah. plus one on everything. We could just slam like three of these in the deck and like feel fine about it. Genuinely. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Um, right? It also says that our Sugar Rush power-ups are a little more live. Um, although yeah. I think as you play the deck, I think you're going to find this card that matters less and you're just going to string them out and then just not have mm -hmm. the blocks to begin with. Um, this card's just going to be a really solid one high block. That's how ready set go is for me. Um, yeah, after I turn think, two, I think maybe take out one sugar rush. Um, Ooh, the spicy one of 
Yeah, I, it's just, I actually it, love that. Sometimes it kills you and you don't know what's in my deck because I haven't checked it. Yeah. Um, or you check it and you're afraid of it for the rest of the game. Yep. Yeah. Um, so what do we got? 59 cards. 59 and then 20, 20, 19. Oh, that looks so much better. We could take in um, if we wanted to. If you really are afraid of blocking, you just take high value target and push it up to 40 and then realize because yeah. we are playing a, only a third uh, attacks, you are going to have to sculpt on your... So so here's here's now your play pattern, right? You have to play like an honest game of UFS. Oh, no. Um, Rude. On your turn one, you build out your six foundations and then you don't die because they all say damage reduction and your face and maybe you block with your one, one attack. On your next mm -hmm. turn, you build out three four foundations hold two attacks hold one foundation so that you can block with the foundation ready combo we do your stuff and then you redraw and do that same play pattern and always hold at least one foundation probably a mid block right um yeah. and then like hold your attacks and so that on turn five after you've dr'd them entirely and they're they're trying to push through your wall you just string out seven attacks and have had the resources to do so yeah like this like is that. this is a sculpting deck and you have to sculpt in order to mm -hmm. get there it's been a while since i played uh the sculpting deck yeah um, I like it. For sure. And then put some intels in the sidebar because you feel better what you're doing. But <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Kamui because he's cool. Then play Kamui. I get it. You don't want the big blockhead. You want the cool wood ninja guy. I get it. Yeah, All right? Exactly. I get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too cool for some intels. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Besides that, Thoughts on what's going on? I think the block zones look uh, looks look way cleaner. Um, so actually, cool. even with a with here, I'm excited to see you cut glamorous. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very cool. <laughs> You're excited to see. Yeah, glamorous is. Uh, actually, hang on. Well, you took out. You took out. Uh, we took out. Um, Can we just make this one year so obvious year? instead yeah. instead of the glamorous? Can we just do that? Yeah. Or. Or a manly friendship, um, either or. Um, manly friendship. Friendship, which we don't manly have any. Friendship. Yet. Oh, we took. We didn't put that in to put in the rebel. I think we're gonna put in the you're so obvious because it's gonna be no. a, a panic button. Right, and it it works on offense too. Yeah, if we need it to. If we need it. Yeah, I guess I can't. I can't reset. I can't use it to boost speed though without taking away the common damage. Cause Correct. That first, that's kind of rough. Correct. Um, but that's okay. Um. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I, I might. So yeah, I'll probably keep. I'll keep like this to start, and I'll probably try the uh, overhead reversal at some point, um, just to see how that feels now that I'm at three Texas smash. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it like this first for sure. Overhead reversal is not a punch, just so you know. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You have to have all punches. Okay. Uh, oh, just a, it follows the Texas smash. It follows the Texas smash. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. And you never reverse. You, you maybe put two in the deck, and it follows Texas smash. Um, if I you guess do that, like, uh, you might want to increase yeah. your zero count. I was finding yesterday with back alley and the the mm -hmm. uh, overhead reversal that I was actually a little short on my on my zero diffs, and uh, I probably would have taken overhead reversal and I would have mainboarded down to two. In Pasadena, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And I'm gonna try and find it just a different different flow card to to put it in. I'm also not playing Texas Smash at all on my Earth Earth deck, so yeah. there's that. Um, yeah, I actually see myself drawing with Haymaker more than building the zero diff, anyways, just mm -hmm. because I want to draw blocks. Um, fair, totally fair. That's just my, my assessment before playing the deck. But we'll see how that happens. Obviously. We will see. Um, All right, man. Cool. Final thoughts? No, it's good. I like it how it is. Hell yeah, I'd love to hear it. Uh, drop the uh, drop us how how you do in the uh, in the Kamui Discord. You know. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, let us know. Perfect. We will uh, catch you next time. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All Later, right. Tam. Peace.